Welcome back to another video from SkiBoatPartsOnline.com. Uh, in this episode, we're going to take a closer look at removing the Advance L seat uh, for two reasons. One, to get a better uh, carpet laying uh, job. And two, we're going to modify the seat for better access to the forward storage area. First, I'm going to mark with masking tape. Uh, I like to use yellow because it's nice and bright and I can see it. Uh, the cut line where we're going to cut this seat loose. Um, bear in mind there's a variety of holes there. Uh, the small holes with circles in them are the ones we're going to use for the new upholstery. Uh, we want to make sure that uh, we dodge those holes. Okay, now I like to mark the uh, right side of the deck uh, right flush with the bottom of the dash. That's a short two and a half inch cut there. Now coming up right next uh, after this is me actually cutting this uh, deck away. Um, note that I'm wearing uh, eye protection uh, and a respirator combination. Uh, wearing leather gloves because uh, I'm going to throw up a lot of dust here. Um, you can cut this using an oscillating saw. It just takes a little longer. Okay, well, resuming on the uh, American Skier Advance L seat modification. We've already cut the L seat loose. It's been removed, and then we've uh, done the floor repairs. The floor has been raised. You can see the, the cut line is here. Um, the yellow tape is where we're going to cut this seat out and really enlarge the access opening. But because we've now raised the floor and resupported the center of the floor with a new fifth stringer right here, uh, you'll see in a second uh, how much the dash has to be lifted. All right, we've got about uh, three quarters of an inch difference. The dash is much lower now because the floor has been lifted and raised up. So next, we're going to show you how we're uh, going to lift the dash temporarily so we can finish marking off our cut lines. Alright, now you can do this with a jack inside the dash lifting it up. Uh, in our shop we have an overhead crane. We just slowly lift it up until the LC fits back underneath the dash. I'm going to go ahead and just lower this a little bit. Okay, now we can finish marking it. All right, since I've marked the L seat where I want it, I've got to continue these lines. The dash. Uh, we want to make sure there's a radius in this corner. So to do that, place your hole saw right in position and mark the center 
because that's where your pilot drill is going to hit the center and it'll actually uh, see if I can reach over and get the that'll give us our, our nice radius there alright now we're going to take the L seat out of the boat and go cut it alright I've removed the L seat from the boat I have it marked with tape I use the yellow tape because it's bright and I can see when we start throwing some dust with the big diamond saw it's easier to see but to get nice radiuses on the corners I like to use, I've pre-marked these the hole saw
uh, you definitely want to countersink these holes because our upholstery panel is going to be sitting against the back, back of this. Countersink screws, machine screws. Make sure there's no burrs on the back side keeping it from sitting flush. Um, I've got a couple on this side we may have to sand. We've got our L-seat modification done. You can see the cutout now is massive. After it's completely installed, all of the raw edges will get trimmed with some black edge trim. To put it back in the boat, I've got aluminum flat bar. Now what I use is 2 inch wide, 3 16 thick aluminum flat bar. This is a uh, 34 inch piece, this is a 4 inch piece, and that's inch and a half. Um, now I did make a, a, a minor mistake. I pre-drilled the holes that the upper deck will fasten to. You really don't need to do that because when this slips up behind it, I'll clamp it in place and I'll drill through the glass into the aluminum. There's no real way of indexing where these holes are going to need to be on the deck there. But uh, all of the screws are countersunk and flush so that the upholstery combing will sit flush against the wall as if it was never removed. And the back side, all nylock nuts, uh, nice and pretty. And this will uh, go back in the boat after we're uh, uh, done with the carpet. But this is ready to go back in when, when that's done. The back side of that uh, wall where I was just trimming should look like this when you're finished. Uh, the reinforcing block of wood has been cut out and removed and the area has been surface sanded uh, to make it smooth. This is to allow the aluminum flat bar on the uh, new L seat modification to fit up behind here and have a smooth surface to be bolted to. Okay, we actually uh, temporarily installed the L seat. It's going to come right back out because uh, we haven't done the carpet work or the wiring. But just to show you how uh, this goes back in, the aluminum flat bar is behind here. Behind here, we did attach the bolts in the center and on the ends uh, just to fit it. But uh, if you're wondering how in the world are you going to reach these bolts in the middle, uh, I can reach up to here coming from this side. I can reach up to here coming from the front side, but the center two bolts, there's no way I can reach. So all I do is put a, uh, a three inch hole, a uh, round hole right here, so I can get access to these bolts when it comes time to button it up. Uh, the combing panel will hide this hole, no big deal. It's a factory approved hole. So there you go guys, that's how we do the L-seat uh, removal, the reinstallation, and enlarging the access. Uh, even a big old boy like me can now crawl up under the front. This is a huge access. The one-piece seat will hinge across the top, we'll put gas struts on it, and the whole thing will lift up. Uh, this is the way we did it in, uh, starting around 2000. Uh, if you have a bimini top that is short, then there's a little different version that we do. Uh, we, we don't use the full L seat because it becomes too tall when you lift it. But uh, in a nutshell, this is how we cut loose the L seat and reattach it. Good luck with your project. And we mentioned earlier about two different types of modifying uh, the L seat, uh, one with a bimini top or a short bimini top and one without. Here's a, a finished job from a couple of years ago in an advance. Uh, this boat has a short bimini. 
uh, therefore the modification is uh, a little different only the back and main bottom will hinge up the other bottom remains in place uh, and this one only gets one strut as opposed to two well I hope you enjoyed this video um, this is a, a quick look or a little more detailed look I should say on removing um, the L seat from the boat for uh, carpet uh, installation um, next video should be uh, paint uh, we're getting ready to paint this old girl so I hope you enjoyed thank you and God bless